Morning, buddy. Six of the best over the fence and gone! <laughs> oh, I have got to call Buddy about this. He will be livid. Buddy! Did you see that, mate? Six more! Six more! Damn it, Mr. Wilberforce. I've asked you before not to call me when I'm driving. This is illegal, sir. Oh, shit. Sorry. Not enough. Really, really sorry. Oh, six more. All right, I'm going to call Barty again. Look, look, can we just talk about your wife? Please. Why do we always have to talk about my wife? You're married too. We never talk about your wife. Well, I'm not the one who's about to go through what could be the messiest divorce since King Kong caught Fay Ray in bed with all four of the Marx Brothers, am I? You need, you need, you need to focus, Winston. Why aren't the, we moving? The preliminary hearings this afternoon. You haven't even looked at my strategy notes, have you? <laughs> Buddy, why aren't we moving? Traffic, sir. Traffic. I hate traffic. Why do I pay all these taxes just to get stuck in traffic? Uh, uh. Because I don't pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, stuck in traffic is good. I like stuck in traffic. Stuck in traffic means you can read my strategy notes and you can't go anywhere else! Hold my beer. Red one? Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. nice. Who's the lucky lady, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Five dollars something? Yeah, no. There you go. Good luck. Hey babe, sorry I'm late. No worries, I managed to keep busy. That's quite a collection. Mm. <laughs> nice bike. Is it? It was the first one I could find. It's not new though. You went second hand. I was in a hurry. Mm. There had to be a reason. I thought maybe you were economising, what with the divorce and all. Oh no, stop. We're not talking about the divorce. That's all anybody ever wants to talk to me about. Divorce, 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 divorce. God, you're worse than Paul. Yeah. Where is Paul, anyway? I thought he'd be pretty much handcuffed to you. Six! Six! Did you see that? He got stuck in traffic? And let me worry about the divorce. We've got more important things to do. It's your birthday. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. You didn't get me another stupidly extravagant gift, did you, Dad? I said no presents this time. When have I ever got you a stupidly extravagant gift? I was eight. I wanted a doll. You fostered a Cheshire refugee and named her Barbie. Enormous tax break. The publicity was awesome. And then she grew up, got boobies, and married me. 
try and get that kind of return on a Cabbage Patch kit. Cabbage Patch dolls don't stiff you for 50% of everything at the divorce. Ah, no, there you go again, talking about the divorce. Because it was going to happen. It was always going to happen. I told you it was going to happen the moment you said you were getting married. Yes, but you're always telling me things like that. Dad, don't poke the wasp nest. Don't eat the leftover salmon mousse. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dad, don't ride in the big dryer. You should listen to me more often. We should listen to you more often, yeah. But you married her anyway. Dad, what were you thinking? Um, boobies? Look, seriously. Do you remember what she was like when she first came here? She, she wasn't like that then. She was different. She... she was a Russian orphan kid who learned to survive on the streets of Chechnya. She played you like a cheap, second-hand balalaka, Dad. I don't know what that is. So, boobies. Jeez, Dad, grow up. If you don't get your acting gear, she's going to shake you for every penny she can grab unless you get your acting gear. Uh, don't you worry about that. I have a plan. And for the mademoiselle, this is your guest? It Can't certainly is. The gentleman appears to be old enough to be your father. That's correct. Look, I don't want to say anything about your life, but have you considered the choices you're making? Silly believe you you're could right. do better he than this You're right, he is my father. What? Me. Father. Yeah. Father. Specimen. Nice bike? Yeah. Would you care to order, sir and mademoiselle? Well, Dad's only just arrived, so maybe just a few more breadsticks for the moment. Yes, yes, of course, breadsticks. Right away. So what's this plan of yours? Ah, I just got here. At least let me enjoy the breadsticks. Dad. Oh. No, 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 no. All right, I have a much better idea. I need to take you and show you something, something important. The divorce is important, Dad. Not as important as your birthday. Come on, little peach, let's go. Well, there it is. There what is? The house. You wanted to show me a house? Yeah. I don't get it. It's my grand's old place. On mum's side. You know, without the money. Oh, I guess that explains the, uh... Well, yeah, right. I gotta fix some stuff up. Why? Are you selling it? Selling it? No way. I used to stay here on school holidays when I was a kid when mum wasn't dragging me off to go skiing in Canada or snorkeling in the Bahamas or something. Gran was, she was different. She never let the money affect her. <laughs> you know, every time I'd come over here, she'd cook scones. Can you believe it? Scones. She was a good cook? No. I used to hide the scones under the table when she wasn't looking. <laughs> Save them all up. Peg them at possums. They were better than rocks. <laughs> One good scone and BAM! No more possum tap dancing on the tin roof. Oh, and let me tell you, 
any of those idiots that talk about the romance of rain on a tin roof have never had a gang of possums playing rugby on a tin roof while you're trying to sleep in the top bunk on a veranda. Sounds like he hated the place. You even listening? I love this place. It was amazing. There were possums and, and, and lizards and snakes and, and kids. There used to be kids all over the place here back then. This was the only place that I could just be a kid and, and play. There, there were no security guards, no interviews. I, God, I love this place. It still looks like a dump. Yeah, well, Graham would never take any of the money. Never wanted it, never needed it. So when she died, I got this place and I could have done it up, I suppose, but it just didn't feel right. So why are we here? Well, technically, this place is an asset. I mean, sure, it looks like the set of a cheap slasher flick, but you know Barbie, she can squeeze a dollar until the queen screams, and I don't want her getting Grand's house. So you don't want to get hands on Grand's house, so you're what? Keep it in the family. You got accepted into uni, right? You're gonna need a place to live. You're giving me a house. After what I said about extravagant gifts, Dad, do you even listen? I listen, but I don't think you're hearing me. I'm not giving you a house. I'm giving you a, a link to, to my past, to, to, to a precious part of my life. I'm not giving you a house. I'm asking you to look after Grand's house for me. Can you do that for me? Sure. I can do that for you, Dad. Great. Well, let's go meet the caretaker. He can witness your signature as well as anybody else can. Who's the caretaker? Don't know. Some guy answered that on Gumtree. I only met him the once. But his references were excellent. Ah, terrorist! White guy! There's a white guy! Hey! Aziz! Johnny! Come! Go, go! Terrorist guard! More of them! It's an entire Al Qaeda cell! Get back, Shana! Back! I'll try to negotiate for our very lives! Johnny, looks like a couple of Mormons here. Mormons? They're your people, aren't they? What are you talking about? Stand back, Shana. Let me handle this. These people can be dangerous. Back! The power of cash compels you. Okay, I'm here, baby. I'm here. They make Chinese terrorists now? Fool! They ain't no Mormons. You ever see a Mormon baby? Ain't no such thing. Mormons be like bacteria with the asexual reproduction. This here be a rich white dude. See? Terrorist. We are no terrorist. We are not Mormons. That's what I'm talking about. You've never seen no Mormon chick. These people here be Jehovah's Witnesses, man. And for your information, I'm a good Catholic. Who are these uh, witnesses of Jehovah? More white people come knocking on your door too early in the morning. Wanna sell you some sad ass magazines that talk about God? It's a white people thing. They used to do it to entire countries, but now it's just the burbs on a Saturday morning. We aren't Jehovah's Witness either. Still think they're terrorists? They aren't terrorists, Dad. Really? Well, if he isn't a terrorist, why is he wearing that? What? Suicide vest, Shana! Run! I'll dive on him! Bro, what even is that thing? It's a bomb. What thing? My shirt that this madman has torn asunder? Obviously not. We refer to the unusual device clasp on your midriff. What unusual device? With the flashing lights and control buttons? Boom. It's a bomb. There. Oh, I see. My friends, you uh, have noticed the Arblator 3000, the uh, latest technological advancement in the search of steel hearts. No, no, no. I was skeptical too at first, but then I realized that the 12 strategically placed electrodes are perfectly aligned to create electrical stimulus for the underlying muscles. And in the short time, you too can get steel hard abs. And because both of you are my friends, 
I'm happy to give it for the low, low price. Oh, you really are a terrorist. Oh, 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 o
No, this is the room I stayed in when I was a kid and it's... Not bad, actually. I wonder if... <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh... Oh, Miss June. Oh, Hiromi, I have missed you. Hmm. I guess it hasn't weathered well being in the walls all these years. <sighs> Sound of one hand clapping. Hey, hey, that is not cool, man. This is art. I mean, come on, look at that lighting. The photography. I don't see articles getting stuck together. Mm. Ah, I see you're on a more comfortable footing now. <sighs> oh, um, um, <laughs> no, we just um, found some magazines from when I was here as a kid. It is um, definitely his house. We can even do a DNA test, apparently. Uh, so, this place is pretty neat. You think you're still thinking of signing it over to me? That's the plan, yeah. Hey, who the hell is she? What about us? Are you just going to kick us out or what? I don't see the problem. I mean, this old place has plenty of room. Really? You keep these guys on? Why not? Saves me the trouble of finding housemates, doesn't it? Look at them, they're just so, so brown. Weird. Smell the joint. Oof. I, sorry. Chili garlic tofu. I should not have had it with beer, but it is so good. You should try it. It's really nice. Doesn't matter. We can sort the details out later, but if you give me this place, I'm not throwing anybody out in the street. Suit yourself, but we've got to go. Paul is going to shit giant green bricks. We don't get to the courthouse soon. Do you need me there? Not especially. If you don't want to be, I guess. How are you going to get home? I'll get a lift when I need it. Figures I might spend the time to meet my new housemates. Fair enough. Yeah. You get the paperwork signed while I'm gone. All right. I'll be back soon. Good luck. I don't need luck. I got a plan. <clears throat> so, uh, Shana, um, I was just wondering if maybe you had. <laughs> Man, I don't like the sound of that. Paul, do you have any idea whether your client intends to grace us with his presence? Well, as I say, Your Honour, he's, he's generally on time, but I mean, we got... <laughs> that man does not know meaning of punctuation. I think you mean punctuality. Don't tell me what I am meaning. We got hung up in traffic and he had to resort to alternative transport and could ask the court's indulgence for Don't panic. Here I am. Ah, the belated Mr. Wilberforce. No, was his father. This one's still alive. Much regrettable. He means I'm running late, Barbie. How have you lived here half of your life and still sound like some kind of Soviet-era Terminator? How come you live here all your life still sound like asshole? That, that will be quite enough. Thank you. We're already late. Let's move on. Mr. Wilberforce. Mrs. Wilberforce. I'm using Pavlova, thank you very much. Is this just some sort of order in the court joke? Do I have to cite you for contempt? Pavlova. Pavlova is name. Oh, um, oh yes, I see. I apologise, uh, Ms. Pav Pavlova. It's just that there's a common Australian dessert by that name. <laughs> you understand. Uh, it's not actually Australian, Your Honour. Eh? And what's this? It's from New Zealand. The Kiwis get really narky when we try to pinch it. Well, actually, there is evidence to suggest uh, it's based on an Austrian dish originally created in the US called Spanish uh, Winder Tort. You say Spanish? Spaniche. You have to pronounce the eh. I thought you said it was Austrian. Yes, they speak German in Austria. So it's a New Zealand dessert, 
claimed by Australia but actually made in the States from an Austrian recipe using Spanish wind? Be quiet! I'm not here to rule on the ethnicity of somebody's dinner! Mr. Wilberforce! Hello, yes. Yes, Your Honour! Really? The only judge is where Your Honour. No, he's reminding you to use his title. Oh, yes, terribly sorry, Your Honour. A bullness, worshipful majesty. Miss Pav Miss Pavlova, I'm required to ask at this point whether your intentions remain as stated. Um, you see no path to reconciliation. He wants to know if we're thinking of getting back together. I am knowing this. Do not speak to me, your sobaka. Oh, you bad. Pray you mat you. <laughs> my mother. You cannot even swear properly. I don't think you do this with my mother. Thank you. I'm prepared to accept that there's <laughs> no chance of reconciliation. <laughs> Shall we proceed? Your Honour, in light of Mr. Wilberforce's considerable assets and the unusual nature of his relationship with Miss Pavlova... It's not as bad as it... Be quiet, both of you! As I was saying, in light of the complexities here, my client is applying to have Mr. Wilberforce's assets frozen. We have requested a full list of Mr. Wilberforce's assets from his counsel, but in the meantime, we ask leave to submit for this presumably partial list to the court for immediate action. Uh, Your Honour, may I speak? Is it relevant? You're not going to talk to me about Pavlova's... No, I, I, I merely well, wanted to say that the, uh, the list prepared by Ms Pavlova's counsel is, um, is almost certainly out of date. <laughs> I've uh, received some information just in the last hour which... Uh, radically alters uh, Mr. Wilberforce's situation and uh, I'd like to uh, ask the court to um, extend proceedings so that I can uh, just work out what it all means. <laughs> What's this information? Well, uh, Your Honour, I don't think even my client is aware of it at the moment, so I'd rather not divulge it unless it's in private. Paul, is it something that's likely to reach Ms. Pavlova's counsel? Sooner or later? Oh, yes, yes, Your Honour. Yes. Good! Let's make it sooner then, shall we? Uh, well, um... Well, you know, we were liquidating your assets, um... So in, in line with your request. To, to, to make equitable division easier? <laughs> <laughs> and we were using a number of holding accounts. Yes, Paul, what's going on? They've hacked your account. What? You've been robbed. How much? Well, uh, all of it. <laughs> what? No! It's filthy capitalist trick! Well, actually, the banks are saying it's Russian involvement, Ms. Pavlova. For? <gasps> That's it! Contempt of court! Contempt of court! Contempt of court! You're all under arrest! All of you! Yes, well, Mr. Wilberforce, uh, seems there's nothing particularly wrong with you. Not that it wasn't already wrong with you uh, before you stepped into the courtroom. I would recommend a, a check-up with your own doctor, though, just to, uh, just as a precaution. All right, I'll uh, send you the bill. Thanks, doctor. And you, Paul. Convince the judge to drop the charges in light of. Well, you understand. <clears throat> now, I know this isn't the time, but. Um, when I told you, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes, 
Yes, I know. Diversify, diversify. But, but we were liquidating. We were putting it all in one pile. We, we, we weren't trying to hide it. They hit at just the right time. Look, I, I, I don't have all the information, but I do have some friends on the force. I mean, they're talking Russian computers, uh, Russian IP addresses. You're not suggest... Not Barbie. No, I mean, sure. Sure, she's, she's, she's a vindictive, cold-hearted bitch with, 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 with liquid helium for blood, but, but she wouldn't, would she? Family connections, I mean, well, she does have them, doesn't she? Thanks for the pickup, Princess. So, the motorbike? Ah, had to get rid of it. Apparently you need a whole separate license to drive one of those things. It's crazy, right? So are you gonna sell this too? The Lotus? Put your crazy pants on this morning, girl. I love this car. Dad, I heard about the theft. It was on the news and all. Did they get everything? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I still got a bit of cash stashed away here and there, but by and large, I am baroque skint Strapped. Done. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You're taking this pretty well, I must say. Plan, remember? Are you saying you knew about this? Dad! So, where are we going? You remember me telling you stories about Granddad's accountant? Jimmy the Piranha. Sure. I love those stories. The most dangerous accountant I've ever heard of. Is he still alive? Let's go. You can see for yourself. According to plan? Yes. You know, you know they think Barbie's involved. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Well, they would <laughs> You still got it, Jimmy? That's amazing. Huh. There you go. An account in Liechtenstein? Yes. Extra strong. So, this is where the money went. Yeah, I just need to get these numbers down. What I need now is the authorization code. Yeah, <clears throat> percent. That's right, Jimmy. You got your cut? Pass. Yeah, that's right. I want the password. Have you got the password for me, Jimmy? Mm. Pass. What are you trying to tell me? You're trying to say password is the password? That is not very secure, Jimmy. <laughs> no. 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 no what? No, it's not secure. No, it's not the password. Jimmy, what's happening here? You've Pass. got all my money. Pass. Yeah, Pass. I need the password, Ow. Jimmy. Jimmy, I need the password. No, it's not the password. No, it's not secure. Ding. Jimmy. Ding. 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 What the fuck is oh. Ing? What are you talking about? Pass. Pass. He's got my money. What's unauthorized? Unauthorized? Who's unauthorized? Dad. What do you mean password? Dad, he's dead. I told you. I've been trying to tell you. No, 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 no. He's a cunning bastard. He's faking this. There, there. I saw him take a breath. I saw him breathe. Live, damn you. Live. You've got my money. Let him go. Let Jimmy go. Let him go. Jim. I don't give a fuck about Jimmy, Shane. I don't care about Jimmy. I'm <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. I mean, you've probably been caught anyhow. 
all it took. Do was give me the password. I mean, it's not the end of everything, is it? I mean, it's only money. Only money? Only money? Such as me? It was your money too. I didn't want it to be like this. Money? You think I care? You should. You've never had to before. And now, you're gonna have to care about the- Oh God, now I'm gonna have to care about the money! God damn you, Jimmy, you shit bastard! Uh, chill out, okay? Sit down, take a breather, and for once in your life, just shut up and listen. It's not about the money. It's always about the money. It's never been about the money. Honestly, all of that money made you a bit of a dick. Sort of like Donald Trump, but with more hair and less, you know, orange. Money's gone. This isn't the end. It's the beginning. You get to finally meet the man behind the money, the man that I've known and loved for so long. Wait, 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 what? There's a man you love? Who? How come I've never met him? How long's this been going on? Is it serious? Are you planning to get married? Are you... You know, you can be surprisingly dim sometimes, Dad. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just... I've got a lot on my mind right now, you know? I mean, I've got... Nothing. I've got nothing. I mean, I've got this car and there's some cash, but... But, oh God, I don't even have anywhere to live. I can't have nowhere to live. How can I be homeless? I don't have a shopping trolley or, or a cupboard. I'm only wearing one layer of clothes, Shayna. Shush, Dad. Of course you've got somewhere to go. I do? Where? Here. Gran? Gran's house? It's important to you. And you need it. Thank you, little bitch. One condition. Anything. Name it. Come and meet your new housemates. Welcome home. No!